You will find quadratic equations on the SAT, but generally they're going to be relatively simple. Uh, you're not, you're never really going to need to use the quadratic formula, for instance, uh, minus b uh, plus or minus uh, b squared minus 4ac. You're not going to need this thing. Uh, generally, they're going to be pretty easy roots. There's going to be no imaginary roots, none of that stuff. Uh, but we still need to know how to solve these equations uh, when the need arises. So let's say, for instance, we're given something like x squared minus. Let me make let me make this center a little bit. It's kind of dumb. To do it there. X squared minus 4x plus 15 equals 12. And let's say the problem wanted us to get x. And now again, this is a little bit too straightforward for the SAT. If you did have a problem like this, it probably would be an earlier one. But still, the point is, is that you may have to do something like this on the test. So knowing the skill is really important. Well, what do we do here? Well, if, to solve a quadratic formula, we need to get this thing equal to 0. So let's go ahead and subtract 12 from both sides. We're going to get x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Why do we do that? Well, because when we factor, it's going to help us out to figure out what x can equal in that situation. Uh, this is what I mean. So let's go ahead and factor. So remember, the rever I showed this in an earlier video, but kind of the reverse foiling, essentially. Uh, what are the two numbers? So we know this is going to be x. We know this is going to be x. But what are the two numbers that multiply out to 3 and add up to negative 4? Well, that's just going to be negative 1 and negative 3. Now, this equals 0. And why is it important that this equals 0? Well, now that we know that these two things multiplied equal 0, that means either this or this, or technically even both, but not in this case, can be 0 such that when they, when they multiply by each other, you'll get 0. So that's why we do this kind of t-chart thing, as it's called. We basically separate and we say, OK, x minus 1 can equal 0, or x minus 3 can equal 0. So we're going to get x is 1, or x is 3 as our answers. So x equals 1 or 3. And that's the basic skill you need to know. And again, the, the, once you get these roots, then you've got to give them whatever it is that they want. They may want x, or they may want something else.